Hi, Jud here. Welcome to my shop. This video is about something that me and Christian, my technical partner, have been working on for over a year. It's a direct drive, no wow, no flutter, record cutting lathes, flutter motor. It's universal. At this setup, it has 1.5 Nm, but maybe easy setup for 2 Nm. 2 newtonometers or even more, which is much more than twice of the ordinary Lyric motor. It's all digital and it features the same control panel as the small motors that I'm already I, that I've already introduced in the market. It may be programmed to on two speeds to be remembered, from half speeds to even slower to 78. Or even higher so this 33 and 45 you are going to have as your default speeds but actually you may program it to anything you want I'm switched the motor on obviously as you see by this knob it's now on the 33 and it's the default speed the motor starts once the speed is set the light starts to light with constant light this is the 745. It's 12 kilograms heavy. So, to show you how this device works, I'm going to reprogram the 33 speed. Give me a while till it slows down to 33, okay? I'm going to reprogram it to 45. I just made a quick disk like this to show you. Okay, sorry for that. That's fine. There's an extra in it, it's a strobe that's on 50 Hz for European market and if you are in USA just make me a note and I will program it for a 60 Hz strobe torch so it fits your strobe disc. Okay, that's the light. You may plug any 3 volts LED light into it, just get any wire and any LED diode so it will perform fine. Okay. It's 33, ballpark 33. I'm going to reprogram it to 45. I'm going to push the knob on the 35 mode. On the 33 mode, I'm going to push this knob for like five seconds. Okay. Obviously by, by turning clockwise, the speed increases. Once I'm sure, that I'm having the, if I could have the camera here, once I'm sure that I'm having the perfect 45 RPM, right in here, I have to push the knob quickly once again. The light stops blinking, stays still, and it means that the speed is encoded. The same you may do with any speed you want, and if you switch it off and be back another day to your studio, you may be sure both of the speeds you programmed will be remembered and they are independent from the power that your power supplier supplies you. The motor works from 110 volts to 230, so you may use it in any part of the world. And as I said, its voltage, its power voltage, and the frequency is absolutely in absolute independent from wherever you are. Okay. I'm just taking the disc off, so you may listen to it a bit. As I said, 1.5 Nm, maybe set up to 2 Nm or even more if you want. 12 kg of the weight, half inch diameter shaft, platter shaft coupling on request. And that's how it looks. I just turn it around so the camera may see that. Okay. That's how it looks. Thank you, Jet. Yeah.